The inventors hope that by 2030, this amazing new addition to the Superjet Club will be as familiar in the skies as the 747 Jumbo. Not limited to the upper levels of the atmosphere, the latest members of the Superjet Club are heading into a zone less travelled by their peers. When the Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 was unveiled for the first time at Britain's Science Museum in London, it celebrated the rapid advances being made in space travel with test and tourist flights. The conceptual mock-up is an ideal opportunity for people to see firsthand what travelling to space might be like for those visiting the museum. I think it's something about space that always ignites the imagination of young people. The cabins have specially been designed to ensure comfort for six people while fully appreciating the wonders of space travel. Obviously the interior is a very important part of that and uh, it's about utilising uh, or making the most of the two different main experiences. One is the zero G part, the floating around, uh, so we've got to make as much room as we can in the spaceship. Uh, and the second is looking out of the window and down at the earth. Uh, looking out of the window is a very unnatural thing for us human beings to do and it will be an incredibly powerful thing to do. For those looking to join this exclusive club, gazing upon the stars and back down on the earth will be a breathtaking experience of a lifetime. Uh, when you sit in it, um, the idea is to give you as much freedom as possible during the zero G moment. Uh, the actual experience itself inside, you, you've obviously got the rocket burn. Within 10 seconds, you're going supersonic. You get two and a half thousand miles an hour. And the rocket ride into space is going to be a phenomenal moment. Back on Earth, albeit at 43,000 feet, the Airbus A380, or Super Jumbo, is now the Supremo in passenger carrying services.